Hi folks, Mike here. Today I'd like to do a review of the Coleman Suntone 2 for you, which is a two-person tent with a relatively small rain fly. Now for any experienced backpacker that is watching this, you might be wondering why I'm spending time on a tent like this. But the reason is simple. There are a lot of new backpackers out there and like me, may not necessarily know where to turn to or what to expect when you're first starting out. And when I first started purchasing gear last year, cost was a major factor and things like weight were kind of secondary. I also didn't think to search too far beyond Mountain Equipment Co-op or Canadian Tire or Amazon. And needless to say, there are a lot more options out there for buying hiking and backpacking gear. So if you're just started looking into backpacking or want some insight into the Coleman Sun Dome, Keep watching and you'll find out why this was my first tent that I never used on the trail. So as you can see, there's actually quite a bit of space in here. I'm six foot tall and about 250 and yet there's more than enough room for me, uh, my sleeping pad, my bag and my gear um, and everything can be contained right into the tent itself. So to give you a proper idea as to the uh, five by seven space that this has, if I lay straight out, there's quite a bit of room. So I still have almost a foot on my right hand side and at least two, two and a half feet on my left hand side. There's pockets on either side of the tent. There's a nice big window in the back. There's another small ventilation window in the back on the bottom. It just requires one of the stakes to pull it out to let some airflow through. And there's also this little guy here, which allows you easy access in and out of the tent if you needed something in the corner of the tent here very easily. Up. Now, the one downfall of this tent is the door. So if I somehow manage to undo this, so... So, and so um, as you can see, there's only a half window here. So if you're really looking for a lot of ventilation or a lot of breeze, you're not going to be able to do it through the door. Unfortunately, this is all it really has for a really nice breeze to come through. So you do have all this window up here. You have, this is all screening here with the uh, rain fly on the outside. You do have this nice big window in the back so you could have some nice cross breeze through the front and back, but that's really it. Obviously on days that it's not gonna rain, you could leave the rain fly off and enjoy the the sky, the stars, get some more air, but um, that is one big drawback to this tent, and that is you just don't have a big open door on um, both the front and back to really let that breeze come through, or of course to enjoy a nice sunrise or a sunset. So guys, here's the uh, assembled tent. Now I didn't use the guy lines for the sides of the tent, but they're almost not necessary. But as you can see, there's a guy line there on the side, and it does come with a little bit of a mat for the front. Comes with the necessary stakes to uh, keep that down. The other guy line for the side. And as you can see, the back ventilation stake down as well. And the door, which is nice and big to get in and out, but also the top third, which is the only portion for the window. So now for some weight information. Out of the box, the tent, the fly, the stakes, the poles, the little mat that it comes with and all the stakes comes to roughly three kilos or 6.6 .6 pounds. If you're looking to shed that by a little bit, you can get rid of the mat, the bag, and swap out the stakes to say something like the MSR Dart and bring the overall weight down to roughly 2.7 kilos or six pounds even. Now for beginners, and I was there myself, six pounds doesn't really sound like a lot, but by the time you start adding everything up that's also in your pack, you're really going to want to start shaving weight wherever you can and the tent is one of your big three items that is going to contribute to their overall pack weight. So all in all, if you're looking for a really good car camping tent, I would say the Coleman Sun Dome is a great fit. 
The Sun Dome is also available in two, three, four, and six person versions, and I've included some Amazon links in the video's description below. Now, if you're looking for a lightweight backpacking tent, there are more options that are out there, some less and some more expensive than the Sun Dome here. Stay tuned for more tent and gear reviews, which are coming soon. If you like what you've seen here, like or subscribe to my channel below. If you have any questions on this tent, gear in general, or hiking, uh, some of the trails that I've done or will be doing, feel free to use the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you later on. Thanks for watching and hope to see you on the trail sometime.